Let's have a look at a related rates of change problem. And the first step will be to define the variables involved, then find a formula to relate them, differentiate with respect to time t, since we're looking at how these quantities change over time, then finally we'll find what we're looking for by substituting in the known values of quantity and rates and then rearranging to find the required quantity or rate that we don't know. So this is the example we will consider. Water is being drained from a cylindrical tank with radius 60 centimetres at a rate of 100 litres per minute. How fast is the water level in the tank dropping? <coughs> So let's first think about the variables we know and we're looking at a cylindrical tank and we know H, let's say, is the height of the water in the tank. And it's important too when there are different units to make sure we are consistent. So here the height of the water is in fact recorded in centimetres while V we're obviously interested in since we're told about it draining at 100 litres per minute, so that re relates to the volume of water in the tank where that is measured in litres. And we also have some information about R, which is the radius of the tank. And that is actually fixed rather than being a variable for this example because we are told specifically that is 60 centimetres. So the second step we want is to relate these using a formula. And the formula for the volume of a cylinder is V equals pi R squared times H. But in this case, since we know that R is 60, substituting that in will give us V equals pi times 60 squared times H. Therefore, we get V equals 3,600 times pi h. And what units is this formula in? Well because h is in centimetres this formula volumes are in units cubed so therefore this is in centimetres cubed which is actually millilitres since one cubic centimetre equals one millilitre. But we are given information here about the rate at which water is being drained in terms of litres per minute. So we need to convert this formula into litres. And there are 1,000 millilitres in a litre. So to get this in terms of litres, we could actually divide both, we could actually divide this side here by 1,000 which therefore tells us that V is equal to 3.6 pi H where it is then given in litres and H is still given here in centimetres. So that will be the required formula to relate our quantities in the required units. So the next step, so we can see how these quantities are changing with relation to each other over time is always to differentiate with respect to time t. So that means we're going to have dv dt and here we have 3.6 pi h so by the chain rule we're going to be differentiating that with respect to h and that will then be multiplied by dh dt. So that's going to give us dv dt is equal to 3.6 pi h, we'll just differentiate to 3.6 pi times dh dt. We now can substitute in the information we're actually provided with. So if we look at what we were given, the main rate we were told is that water was being drained at a rate of 100 litres per minute. So that means we can see that the rate of change dV dt is negative 100. And it's negative there because since the water is being drained, the volume is decreasing. And that is given in litres per minute. 
So we'll just write that down as a bit of a note here to help us out. dv dt is negative 100. And it's now going to be a matter of subbing that into our formula. So that's going to become negative 100 is equal to 3.6 pi times the h dt. And finally, we now rearrange for the unknown rate, which is the rate of change of height with respect to time. So to make the h dt the subject, we could swap the sides of the equations around and also divide both sides by 3.6 pi, giving the h dt is negative 100 divided by 3.6 pi. And that works out to tell us that dh dt is equal to negative 8.84. And again, that's because the water is dropping. So the height of it is decreasing. And what units is this in? Well, height was in centimetres. And we were looking at water draining in litres per minute. So it's going to be centimetres per minute. So that is that the level is dropping at 8.84 centimetres per minute.